<sighs> so, Tanacon. One, two. I decided that I was going to attend TanaCon. What? Why? I'm gonna paint a birdhouse because it keeps me calm and I think being calm is better than not. Let's see, where do I start? TanaCon was a bit of a Tana flop. It was good effort. There was a lot of potential for TanaCon to be something really cool and it flopped. I just wanna um, talk about it a little bit since I was there and like I suffered a bit. Okay. TanaCon. The convention heard around the world. In a nutshell, TanaCon was a bit of a disaster. It was definitely something that could have gone better. very beginning. So the day before TanaCon, 24 hours before TanaCon started, we got an email saying that registration opened at 6 a.m. Whereas we had previously been told that it started at 9. So I was planning on getting there not at 6. I was planning on getting there um, maybe around like, you know, maybe 8. I had a meet and greet with Nate Garner at 11. And I was super excited. I love Nate Garner. I was looking forward to it. We got the email saying the time had been changed and I was like, wow, um, well, if that's the case, it's gonna be crowded AF. So my theory was, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to get like a, like a hotel or something. That's what we did. We stayed at this janky, sketchy Motel 6 so that I could get there in the morning. Yeah, that was my theory. I was like, okay, I'll get there when I get there. And the line is probably going to take maybe, you know, hour, hour and a half. No, five and a half hours of standing in the sun for this delicious sunburn. I can't even, like, put it into words how bad, like, the entire situation was. I got to TanaCon at 8.50 to 9 between then, maybe, maybe 9.15 latest. And the line was so long. Ridiculously long. And it wrapped all the way around all of these hotel guests cars who had to deal with these you know teenage girls screaming teenage girls you get a bunch of teenage girls together and there's bound to be some sort of like chaos it was supposed to be 5,000 people got tickets to TanaCon but yet there was 20,000 people there I was like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna wait in line I'm gonna be that good soul I'm not gonna cut that's just rude. But apparently some people don't feel that way. And they were just hopping lines. They had no mercy. Which was kind of upsetting to some people like me and the people around me who decided to be good souls, good children of the Lord. Apparently that memo, that moral, is not shared with a lot of people. What happened was we're waiting, just respectfully minding our own business, try not to be rude and chaotic. There seemed to be no worries, not a single care in the world. We were all just here for TanaCon. It was luxurious, you know, what it was supposed to be. And instead, I got an $80 sunburn. I guess Tana had said that there were two lines in her live stream. There were most definitely not two lines. It was one line for everyone. There was no real like direction to it. There was trash literally everywhere. And there was a little um, custodial worker? He was mainly just like picking up trash. I told him, I was like, you know what, like thank you for what you're doing because I feel like you're not gonna get told that enough today. And he was like, thanks. He was like, have you seen the inside yet? And I go, no, I haven't. He goes, it's it's bad. And I was like, what do you mean it's bad? And he was like, it's genuinely just a bad experience. And he's like, my daughter's in there and literally nothing has happened. And I was like, he's like, yeah, it kind of just sucks. I saw Todd's car while I waited in line, which also apparently got keyed. His car was actually vandalized. I didn't have the worst experience out of everybody, which I'm thankful for. And I know a lot of people did have really bad experiences. It was chaotic, and that's that's what it is. It was really chaotic. 
from my experience, I waited five and a half hours. I stood in the sun, I was sweating, and I felt like a genius because I had an umbrella in my car. My mom was waiting in line with me because she's a kind, kind soul, and she went and got the umbrella, and all of a sudden, I had a lot of friends there. I went by myself, um, not counting my mom waiting in line with me. By the time I got to the point where it was canceled, I was nearly at the door. I got to registration, and there were fans that were lying, and they were just handing out the feature I can't curse. Creator, which this, this is like all we got. I did not pay $80 for a badge, a bag, and a wristband, a condom, and stickers from PETA telling me to go vegan. All I did was pay for an $80 sunburn. I stood where those like banner things were. It was in the spot where like creators were coming out and like saying hi and just kind of like trying to make small talk. And then they would disappear, and then they would come back, and then they would disappear. It was like, it was like a, just didn't stop. And that's where I was for a decent amount of time, which is after the registration. Usually, like, I don't have a problem with that kind of stuff until they announced that TanaCon had been canceled for the day. And literally, here's my tweet. never experienced anything quite like that before. I had people shoving literally everywhere. Like there was not a moment where I was not being shoved. And I had made some friends who are from Tennessee, so hey guys. So the riot's happening, people are angry, they want their money back, and they start pushing up against the barrier, which is um, exactly where I am located. So I am actually being like crushed up against the table where they were doing the bag checks and between like the barricade. The barricade is the word I'm looking for. So I'm getting like squished up against that and this one, I'm assuming he's a creator. I don't actually know who he is. He was walking around and everyone was calling him Jake Paul. He's wearing like a lifeguard hoodie and I have no idea who he is. And I really want to find out because while I was being crushed, he was standing on the other side of the fence kind of helping me like hold it up so I didn't like, you know, collapse. And he was talking to me, like, relatively keeping me calm. And I asked him, I was like, how many people are standing behind me? And he just looks me dead in the eye. He's like, way too many. I just about, like, had a panic attack in there. The girls I was with who are from Tennessee, where she goes, is it bad if I call 911? Like, I'm really considering it. And I'm like, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure that's a bad idea at this point. And the pol police did end up getting involved because it was that chaotic. I paid to go have this experience and yet this is the experience that I got. There was like a brief moment where I was like for sure that I was gonna get severely injured. I don't know who this dude is. If you do, please let me know in the comments. It was just a stressful, stressful nightmare that I really wish hadn't ended the way it did. And I'm not pointing fingers, but good times and Tana should have planned that better. If you're gonna be advertising a free event the way they did, you should expect a bunch of people, unticketed people, to show up. And I wish, you know, Tana nothing but the best. It's her convention. She's literally the star of her own convention. It's named after her. So yeah, I think it's acceptable to say that she's partially to blame here. I literally don't really have anything else to say. Like, I'm a little speechless. I was shaking at the end of the day. As soon as it was done, like, I was physically, like, shaking. My hands were shaking. I couldn't, like, really form words. Much like I can't right now. Overall, you know, it wasn't like it was a total bust. Like, good things happened, and it was, I hate to say it, a good time. You know, the entire situation definitely could have been handled better, but it wasn't, and now it's over. It's something that I can look back on in the future and reflect on, and I can say, I went to the TanaCon. I went to THE TanaCon, and I get to say that, and not a lot of people can. So if you went to TanaCon and you aren't happy, look at it that way. You got to experience something that not a lot of people could experience. You know, maybe yours was a bad experience, but hey, that's an experience that nobody else has except for all the 20,000 people that were there. But that's pretty cool. That's a pretty, like, compared to the 7 billion people on this planet, I think that's pretty cool. It is what it is. Life goes on. You know, we're all gonna live. The front looks so bad and everything else turned out so well. I'd like to conclude this essay by just saying it could have been worse. We could have had some seriously bad stuff happen and yeah, bad things did happen but it definitely could have been a lot worse. But it was a good try, a good start to something and you know, we made headlines. Go team! I think that's all I have to say. This is my welcome back to YouTube. Who's opening the door? Who is there? I don't know. We're gonna go eat. Hi, YouTube.